Members of the Senate, members of the House, ladies and gentlemen, we are here today for the purpose of signing the Cancer Act of 1971. Having the vision to start a cancer center over 40 years ago. There's a history. It's one of the original eight comprehensive cancer centers in America. We have hired the best of the best from centers nationally. One of the things that attracted me to come to USC was that there's a very high level of expertise. There's just a real feeling of growth here. We know that radiation is very powerful when harnessed for health benefits. The technology that we have is cutting edge. And also it's just people who are comfortable taking care of the toughest cases. We're dealing with patients that sometimes are fighting for their lives. The quality is the number one driving force. I believe what sets us apart is our caring attitude. For the relationships that we build with our patients, it could be you know many, many years. It's like seeing family. And so that part you know is a long-term kind of family relationship that we develop with our patients. A combination of the advanced technology, the world-class physicians that we have, the world-class team, the processes we put in place, the quality and safety structure and oversight, and how we deliver uh, radiation care that really makes all the difference. Our vision is to be a leading provider of radiation therapy care for patients in the state of California. We treat a, a wide variety of cancers. I treat primarily breast and lung cancer. I specialize in head and neck cancer treatment, breast cancer treatment, and skin cancer treatment. I'm the section chief for breast, endocrine, and soft tissue surgery. I'm a, a radiation oncologist involved in the, the treatment primarily of head and neck cancers. I specialize in GI cancers. I specialize in prostate cancer lymphomas, and melanomas. As well as the not so common cancers such as lymphomas, sarcomas, melanomas, renal cell cancers, um, brain tumors, spinal cord tumors. So we treat the very common tumors to the very uncommon tumors. The expertise starts with the multidisciplinary teams that get together and decide in either a tumor board or some other fashion, what is the best treatment for the patient? For the lung cancer group, um, we meet once a week, all the thoracic surgeons, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, all in a room together, radiologists, everyone really looking at imaging together. The value of having multidisciplinary programs is that patients have the opportunity to get multiple opinions from multiple specialists in a timely manner and the specialists actually talk to each other. Medical oncologists, surgeons, dermatologists, radiation oncologists getting together and discussing what should happen for each patient in each clinical scenario. And that level of communication and combined expertise, I think, is the first most important thing that we offer to the patients. We're very fortunate here to have three uh, highly advanced technologies, which are the Gamma Knife Perfection, the Cyber Knife, and the TrueBeam STX, all at one facility. When Eric Chang took over the chairmanship, one of his uh, areas of emphasis was that he wanted USC to be a leader in a, a technique known as radio surgery. And this is where we deliver uh, high doses of radiation very accurately. For example, the neurosurgery group here has a long history of doing radio surgery with Gamma Knife. They were one of the uh, pioneering groups. We were one of the first uh, institutions to uh, install a cyber knife and actually treat patients with it uh, here in, in California. I enjoy the True Beam in the sense that patients can uh, get through the treatment a little bit faster. Treatments that previously took maybe up to an hour will get done by 15 minutes. Having multiple different tools at our disposal makes it such that we can give our patients options in the kinds of treatment. And so the way it's benefiting patients is that we're seeing unprecedented levels of tumor control that we did not see previously with conventionally delivered radiation therapy. I think a lot of patients have some fear about um, more historic radiation. 
Uh, there are a lot of side effects. It normally is a painless process, just like getting a CT scan or x-ray. Most people are fearful because they come to us having been exposed to either surgery or chemotherapy and radiation is completely new. We want to cure this cancer, we also want to really limit toxicity, and that's one thing that we pride ourselves on. Patients have a lot of anxiety when they don't understand the steps and processes that they're about to undergo. And by breaking it down into almost like a schedule that they can follow and understand, I think it helps ease some of their fear. We really do pay attention to the patient, to the patient's family, and just make sure that that whole family unit whether that family is a wife or a significant other or a partner, that we take care of all of them. I think what's really important here about being at Norris, number one, is the compassion that's provided by every member of the team, the attention to detail, the fact that this is a comprehensive cancer center, which is only a National Cancer Institute designation that's given to a select number of cancer centers throughout the country. Our patients understand this. After they've been a patient here for a while, they really appreciate that there is a collegiality about our physicians and our nurses that is hard to replicate. It really sets the tone for a first-class organization. I'm a big believer in university-based medicine because this is where future knowledge is created. This is where the cutting edge is. There's just an energy of growth in the time that I know that a lot of people are cutting back. This place is putting resources and energy into the cancer program. The best thing about my job is the patients. We come into their lives when they're frightened. We come into their lives when they don't really know what's going to happen next week, let alone next year. So it's the patient and the opportunity to really develop that long-term relationship. If you want to go to where the teachers are and where the teachers are teaching everybody else how to do it, this is where it's at.